need to fall horrific in our court. To fall horrific, I believe that we perhaps have business. May I address your populace? Please do. It's the responsibility of a peer to bring forth the voice of the order when one is worthy. The Crown has asked me to stand in that place today. Your Majesties, I crave a boom. If it is a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. Please proceed. It is a right and proper thing, Your Majesty, for to ask that you elevate your protege. What? <laughs> Please present yourselves before their majesty. Countess Nayasa Okahase, and if I may please address your court. Please do. I have known Elise for some time. And while she was chamberlain for our reign, all I have to say is I've never seen somebody give so much of something so valuable within a course of a year. She gave her time to me and my husband as we reigned. She gave her time to her shire. She gave her time to her kingdom. And she gave her time to Penzik. Time is something you can never get back. So that is a gift she gave to us all. And that is what I feel nobility truly assembles. Thank you for your gifts to us all. And I highly recommend her to you for your order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Excellency. <coughs> Is there a member of the chivalry who will attest to Elisa's courtesy and chivalry? There is, Your Majesty. If I may. Yes, please. I am Count Rutger. And those who know me know that I deal in numbers away from the SCA. And when I'm not, I do not like them. <laughs> <laughs> numbers are cold. They are calculating. Elise deals in numbers. That is her service to us. She does it in a way that is not cold. She gives herself freely and chivalrously so that there is benefit to all. Your Majesty, I've spoken too much this war, and I beg you to accept my words and accept that I appreciate her work and I recommend her highly to you for the member, membership in the Order of the Pelican. Thank you, Your Excellency. <coughs> is there a companion of the Laurel? There is, Your Majesty. Thank you. May I continue to address your populace? Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Laurels are masters of art. And she is truly a mistress of her art, but it's an interesting art that the pelican practices. And if a pelican truly practices their art, the best way that they know how, sometimes you don't realize that it's even been done. This is an individual who impacts the society through everything that she does. She does it quiet, she does it clear, and she does it as a peer. She does it as my peer, and she is an artist at it. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that a lace is worthy of elevation into the order of the pelican? Yo a lace, right mindful of your service to the society and responsive to the wishes of your peers, 
we are resolved to create you companion of the pelican, which creature will nourish her young when necessary with the blood from her own breast and therefore has been chosen as the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore, will you, Elise, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governance of this order as you must surely have till now? Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? I don't have to ask if there is no doubt. <laughs> because I give you mine that was gifted unto me by my pelican and Marie. Wear the medallion as a symbol of nobility and a token of our esteem. Wear it proudly that all may recognize your service as, as we have acknowledged it this day. Do we have other... <coughs> Wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. <laughs> Do you wish to swear an oath? and among them we have discovered a treasure trove of praise for Alice de la Salle. Admired by her peers, she exudes precision, goes after a goal, smooths the way for others, and she herds cats. <laughs> Generous in her warmth and willingness to lend a helping hand, be it running lunch or just helping other kingdom officers feel more at ease in their positions, outstanding in her service, she stands out for her remarkable dedication. Noble in her ways, she has truly earned our admiration. Persistently ready to assist, her efforts never go unnoticed. 
Elevating others is second nature to her embodying the spirit of selflessness. Lifting up her fellow members, she brings great joy and recognition to her all. Inspired by her contributions, we recognize her dedication. So that we create her a companion of the Order of the Elegant. Yes, it's a picture of the Elegant. And then they started reading the floor. Okay.